LSD, what did you learn on this study? And what did you think that was going to be true that turned out not to be true? Yeah, so the LSD study was, uh, we, we did it for two reasons really. One was um, we did it because having done psilocybin before, we come up with some very interesting theories as to how these drugs worked. Um, we'd actually kind of turn the whole theory of psychedelics on its head, which I'll come back to. So that was the first thing. But the second reason for doing it is because it had to be done. It was, you know, it was, it was, you know, someone had to do it. It's like, you know, you, you've got to be the first person on the moon. You've got to be the first person to study LSD using modern imaging, because it had, you know, and no one was doing it, because it was too difficult and expensive and, and politically, you know, challenging and maybe career-ending for, for people who started it. So, so it had to be done. You know, like Everest, we had to do it. So those are the two reasons, yeah, and uh, I'm glad, really glad we did. I mean, it's an amazing study. I mean, it was a truly awesome. I mean, it was like a moon landing. You know, we had we, it took us over a year of planning. Uh, we had to do it in Cardiff because it was the only place where we could do the two kinds of scanning. The we did MRI scanning and we did MEG scanning, electroencephalography, and the same people one after the other. So. It was an amazing exercise. It was like a, you know, we had to get it all set up here and then translate it, and we had to go down to Cardiff on a regular basis to do. It's truly a monumental study, and uh, and credit to Robin because he, you know, he he basically led it all, did it all, and uh, and the results, you know, well they were, uh, as as we put the psilocybin when we first started, we had no idea. We thought we were going to find lots of excitement in the brain when. People had these images, vivid images of coloured lights and things. In fact, we didn't. We found the opposite. We found the brain was switching off. Mm. With LSD, we found very similar things. But we found, uh, because the study was a bigger study, a better study, we were able to look in much more detail at, di at different effects of different parts of the brain. And, and, and uh, we kind of confirmed what the psilocybin data had shown. That, uh, uh, but we also expanded it considerably to... to to make sense of things which we hadn't been able to under psilocybin. I remember one of the analogies in your psilocybin study was it was almost like the conductor in the orchestra being removed and the orchestra mm. was playing its instruments exactly. in a way yes. that, and, and that was kind of the way you described mm -hmm. that experience yeah. as opposed to more, more happening in the brain, it was almost less. It was less control and therefore more flexibility, more syncopation. So, and that's the same under LSD. And in fact, one of the most remarkable things under LSD was we, uh, we were able to show the nature of how people get these complex hallucinations, you know, seeing with your eyes closed. And, and we, we, what we showed with the LSD study is that that occurs, that phenomenon occurs, because in s your, it, it, the normal way the brain works is that the visual cortex, as I'm looking at you now, this little bit of brain back here, the visual cortex, that's processing you, and I'm thinking, you know, I know who this guy is, and I know where I am, and it's all, it's all kind of happening here. There's a little bit of crosstalk, so there'll be a bit of a brain which says, you know, why am I here, and a bit of the brain when I was here last, but, but mostly it's all in the visual. Under LSD, the visual cortex becomes connected across the whole of the brain, so you can see, you know, it can link images which created 5, 10, 15 years ago, but it can also create completely new images with bits of the brain which previously had never talked to the visual cortex can now engage the visual cortex. And that's why, you know, people can see sounds or kind of feel numbers and things. And the, the brain becomes much more interconnected, much less dis disciplined in a way, much more flexible. And that's, inter and that's why it's interesting. And we think that's why uh, people can change the way they think under LSD. That's why people actually didn't want to fight because there was, they, they realized there were alternative strategies. <laughs> you know, you, you don't, you know, you can actually solve problems by talking with people rather than fighting or blowing them up. You know, that, it's kind of interesting, simple, I mean, you know, I mean, it's obvious, but, but a lot of people don't think outside the box. They just, they're brought up to believe there is one way and the right way of doing it. And in LSD, you can see things that you would never, brain would never allow you to see. Continue watching this fascinating conversation for free by clicking on the link below to visit our website, learn from the best minds in the world, and connect with a community of passionate people building the best versions of themselves. Just click on the link below, and I'll see you on the inside.